rough time. Yeah, I see you uh, drawing at his CS. <laughs> yep. It's not fun for him. That's the Joe, gonna be gone on once again here. They will couple up here to be able to get a nice double heal bomb onto Hester Joe. Adam doing some good blocking, trying to set this up for a potential dive. They feel like it's good enough. They'll dive the tower into Hester Joe. The last shot is not gonna be enough, my god. I thought for sure Underlord was dead, but the tanky beast survives through all of that, and they have a shrine to be able to use as well. Good, yeah, he saved the stick charges until Fata was fully committed at the last second. And luckily for Fata, Ryze had no mana. He had he had been using it all through jungle. If he had Frostbite, he was on like 80 mana. That's a dead Weaver. So very close to turning it around for C9. Not quite able to do so. Fata and Fira are going to shrine up together. And looks like they're going to farm some Ancients. This is... Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Fata in the trees oh. tries to kick Noya out of this dead end, but... Noya returns right back to block the Absor in against the bear. It'll be Ace picking up the first blood. Just make sure he doesn't get caught around here. Mid lane one being placed by Adam. TP's back to the tier two because he knows time is of the essence. He needs to be in position right now. The kick back there from Yapsor, but here comes the Stampede. A four staff away. Baby Knight gets some distance. A Stampede to hit. Hoof Stomp only hits the bear there. And Noya is out of range. Fada. Oh, he's going to be. Uh, Sent to the astral plane underneath this uh, this pit of malice. You couldn't land on him, and without that stampede hitting, it's really hard for Invoker to hit the Sunstrike and the the meatball combo. He's gone full Wex Exhort. And roll in. Now gonna still trying to engage. Noya's been hit. Slow down. The hoof stomp will land this time around with the Sunstrike and the extra nuke damage. Forev, they will find that pickup. That when these pushes come in into Meteor, I feel like they, they needed that sort of overwhelming damage to deal with C9 because they've got tanky heroes and with the sustain of mech as well. Here comes Hesta Joe. He's going to receive a four staff. Nicely played out by Baby Knight. Managed to outplay that one. Jump in. Hit two man hoof stomp there on the side. Stampede slowing them all down as well. Here comes the Meteor, but Hesta Joe's already dead. Fought in the back lines. Almost died, but he does manage to get a shallow grave and will also time lapse off half the damage. Firo's now going to be chased down. Oh, here comes the damage. Firo gets caught in the entangle. Tower's going to fall. Bears. The rest of them will get out. Looks like they traded. Is that just a two for one? They only got Hesta Joe. Sunstrike. C9 can actually go back in. They know there's no Sunstrike now, and this Dire Ward does not see these heroes, so good smoke usage to get back into the pit. Ford Spirit will scout this one a little bit too late. Oh, but they oh, jump in! Oh my god, the Ace is still in the deck! Ferret managed to grab it! Now here comes the Meteor with a deafening blast! Ace and Hester Joe almost get blown up. There is a save from Baby Knight. Ace is gonna come back soon. Ferret is still in the pit. Can anyone threaten Ace? He's in the back lines. Firo and Fada just charge in, manage to finish him off. Noya's also gonna go down, and Baby Knight, he needs to get out of here. He can't save anybody anymore. He does get the Hurricane Pike over the cliff, blinks back, saves himself. Ferret is here, but... Doesn't look like he's going to be able to catch Baby Knight. What a win. How did Bears manage to make the read on that? Only for Cloud9 and a huge experience lead for Bears. Yeah, that experience is where it really matters for some of these heroes. And Bears are not done. There's the initiation. Here comes the Meteor. It's not going to save Hester Joe. Baby Knight chooses to save Ace, the big damage dealer. Has to Joe is tanky enough. Well, he's down to half health. It looks like Fada can actually finish him off with a Desolator. Fada's stuck underneath the Pit of Malice. He will receive an early Shallow Grave just in case. Forever runs in, tries to get Baby Knight, hits him with a bit of a threat there with a the nuke. Slows him down, but Baby Knight now turns, managed to throw out the ultimate, finishing off the Centaur. Oh, Fada, he gets a nice Savage Roar, perfectly timed by Ace to prevent the time lapse. And a Shikuchi away, Bears now left with only three, and Cloud9, they're not done just yet. They still what are the worst talents? And and uh, up there on the list, we claimed, complained about it a lot, was the level 15 talent from uh, Nyx Assassin. Oh, jump, initiation, stun, misses out on the host stomp, does manage to hit the boulder, but there is a save from Baby Knight. Four staff away from Forev, not allowing that stampede to connect. Now Yapsor comes in, managed to hit his ultimate onto a couple, but the BKB activated by Baby Knight allows him to turn and fight. Now they're going to pop the Dark Rift. Baby Knight's dropping lower and lower. They might be able to get this kill before... Oh, the Dark Rift, it doesn't save him. They can't get out. Now Ace is actually left completely alone here. He's going to turn and fight and kill Adam, but is not going to be making out alive, it seems. He's too separated from his team, and they will bring him down. Bears, a big win for them. Two cores. Quickly, thanks to that uh, Swarm Beetle on Roshan and the Desolator.
C9, they're coming in fast with the bear. Roshan's down to 1,500 HP. The Tornado's going to be able to prevent a lot of this, and they do have beautiful line damage. The stun out from Yapsar. Double silence onto two. Hester, Joe, and Ace in trouble. Baby Knight needs to save Ace, but they do get the Hurricane Pike onto the cliff. They've managed to finish up Roshan as well, and now Fod is ready to go with the Aegis. He just charges straight in, facing up against Baby oh, Knight. will try and pop his BKB and finish off Ace. Now the jump in gets the stun onto Rise as well. Ah, that'll finish off Baby Knight. Cloud9, it's just all over for them in this engagement. Hester Joe tries to TP out, does manage to make it out, but uh, this is going to be buyback time for maybe the OD. Looks like the lone druid with his low death timer can wait. Yeah, that was the perfect lineup possible coming down that ramp for the tornado. First oh, no. and everything. C9, you got to respect this. Your lone druid is yeah. not yet back up. They did not want to have to buy back on the OD until the lone druid is up, so... Hester Joe giving the Bears the free pickoff here before the push actually fully comes out. They are going to be able to take that melee racks. Tornado EMP making its way in. Stomp actually going to miss out there. The Tornado lasting a bit too long. Silence. Brum Yapsher tries to roll himself away. Hit by the Pit of Malice. Saved by the Shallow Grave. He may still be able to get out of here, but Varev as well is being chased down by Hester Joe. And Ignite comes out. Vero blinks back. Adam's going to be target of Hester Joe and Noya instead. While Fada was battling it up with the two cores, is completely out of mana now. Needs the extra help. Has the BKB. Is going to try and run himself away with the physical damage of Baby Knight. 4 HP. He finally does fall. Now when he comes back, he won't have a BKB. A pit of malice laid in preemptively. Fada is... There's no chance. No hope for a time lapse or anything like that. I didn't get an opening kill without even having that Weaver there. Baby Knight blinking in aggressively. He's going to be stunned up, hit by the Tornado, EMP plus Sunstrike. It's a good force staff though. will save him a lot of that damage. Firo throwing out that Deafening Blast. They're hoping to be able to push back Cloud9 and not have to use their buyback on Fada. No, oh, a nice stun! A three-man hoof stomp onto the Spirit Bear as well. They're going to be able to control these heroes now. The Stampede slows them down. The Dark Ritz is coming in, but it's not going to save Noya. A Force Staff, another one. They try and push these heroes away, and it looks like it may have uh, disjointed enough that Ryze could not make it into the Dark Rift out. Yeah, I don't think he's raiding that Uber Driver five stars. He has left a couple teammates behind. Ace is still <laughs> running the hell away. Luckily, he's got all this movement speed to get out of there. Ryze also missed out on the ride. But. TP in. Whoa, Ace! He TP'd onto a shrine, but Fada and Firo were already here trying to cut him off in the first place, so they just stumble into a TP and a free kill there. Ace could not afford a pickoff like that. He's down for 35 seconds, and Bears are already on top of your tier two. Would you feel comfortable if, if, say, you see Firo at bottom? You know he's pretty quick, but you know he does not have the boots of travel. You could just five-man push out real quickly, see if you can catch someone from Bears, and they kind of do just that. They managed to get Forev inside the Pit of Malice, but he does have the Stampede too. He's holding on to it for now. He actually is going to turn around for Staff Baby Knight in deeper. They do manage to get the stun, and Firo's going to be here soon. Forev now pops that Stampede, does have all that damage reduction, so Baby Knight's really not doing that much to Forev at all. Fought a battling between Noya and Hester Joe, does manage to get off the time lapse. OD taken out. Looks like he did he hit the blade mail? Adam on yeah, the side. Yeah. Oh no. Dark Rift out. Save them all. All right. They get a couple out, but Ace, as well as. Uh, as well as our OD and Rise are all going to be fallen here. They do have buyback. Oh, the blade mail timing. He got it on the Sanity's Eclipse of the OD. That demolished Baby wow. Knight. Shouldn't around that push. Instead, Fata with Aegis gets a T3 tower and almost a melee Rax. Fata Will... is forced to BKB. But this is still damage top. Yeah, Spirit Bear actually goes down. Fada looks like he caught by the multicast. He does end up losing his Aegis, but Firo has taken the range tracks, has threatened Hester Joe already, brought him pretty low earlier, and uh, does Fata's get a little bit of damage. Way. Oh, Hurricane Pike pushes Noya away from the sun. Oh, Fada, he's so close. He's going to get saved out for the Shallow Grave. Right. There goes that time lapse. Actually barely makes it out of that Pit of Malice, but back over to top lane. There goes that melee Rax. To and fro. Forev now jumps in as well. He's going to join in on the pushing action. Nice two-man hoof stomp. Trying to finish up those range raxes with the forward spirits. Pops his blade mail. Baby Knight can't target him anymore. Back to bottom lane where Firo comes in with a big meteor blast. Hits Noya back into it with a deafening blast. Forev now, he pops the stampede. Is going to run over Noya. They managed to catch a couple there with a pit of malice. But C9, they need to make this team fight work for them because they're getting 
picked apart this whole entire time. A buyback there from Noya, but Bears, they can play the patience game here. Sit back and wait. Second thoughts from Bears as to how to approach this push. They're not actually split pushing, which is where they found their success the other times, but with only one lane of racks to go for. Oh, what? They seem like they're more focused. Ace okay. just burst down Yapsor here on the low ground. Now oh, he's going to turn against Varev, but oh god, he just hit the blade mail. Varev gets a lot of damage back to Ace. Not quite enough to finish him off, though. Okay, Bears. Yeah, that, that rapier came out of nowhere. Turn around. Do manage to get a good ice wall on has to Joe. He'll receive a Hurricane Pike. A friendly save. From Baby Knight. Now Baby Knight jumps forward here, but doesn't have his BKB activated. So forever. Oh god, Boy. they just hit the hoof stomp, but he dies just like that. Tafada. It's all up to Ace now with no buyback on to Baby Knight. Ace is gonna have to do it all with his divine rapier and only 800 HP. A pushback there. Noya receives a hurricane bike, but here comes the deafening blast, and that's it. They catch him. They take that divine rapier. It's on the deck. Someone can grab it, but the GG's have already been called by Cloud9. C9. They almost had a 10,000 gold lead with their early pushing, their early five manning. But again, bears show the strength of will, the constitution to be able to survive through all this early game pressure and come out in the mid to late game. Yeah, I mean, the, the core is just uh, so good at finding their right timings. I mean, Fear dies once the entire game, Fata only the two deaths. Like these, these two players were just so instrumental and just stalling when they needed to, but just avoiding fights around towers that couldn't be defended.